This video will demonstrate the equipment that is used in the performance of the Monarch bronchoscopy and important details of each. OR bed. Prior to installation, a Monarch engineer will ensure that the bed meets compatibility standards. The OR bed should have rails that the Monarch robot field generator mount and the Monarch robot patient introducer mount can be secured to. When possible, arm boards should be avoided to allow the C arm the most easy access. When this is not possible, usually due to patient body habitus, the arm board furthest from the C arm should be used, trying to avoid arm boards on both sides. C arm. Any C arm system may be used. Best practice is to adjust the C arm height to the maximum height above the patient when in use. Anesthesia. The anesthesia machine and the anesthesiologist will be positioned depending on room setup, but should be at the head of the bed opposite to the edge of where the monarch cart will be positioned. In this example, the monarch cart will be at the top right of the bed, as seen from the foot of the bed, and the anesthesia machine will be at the top left of the bed, as seen from the foot of the bed. Anesthesia connectors. The anesthesia connectors will allow a patient to receive ventilation from the anesthesia machine while offering a stable platform for robotic bronchoscope insertion. It consists of, number one, the bronchoscope patient introducer mount. This will hold the bronchoscope patient introducer and will be positioned on the same side as the anesthesia machine and positioned at the level of the patient's lips. It will be opposite the Monarch cart. Number two, the bronchoscope patient introducer. This white plastic connector will guide the robotic bronchoscope into the endotracheal tube and will be connected to the patient introducer mount. Number three, the bronchoscope swivel adapter. The associated kit includes a medium-sized silicon scope adapter. This is the correct fit for the Monarch robotic bronchoscope and sheath and will reduce air leak from the endotracheal tube that might occur if a larger adapter is used. Best practice is to label the Monarch swivel adapter with a sticker or marking to distinguish it from the regular bronchoscope swivel adapter to avoid confusion. Monarch cart. The Monarch cart will hold the robotic bronchoscope. Positioning. The cart should be positioned at the head of the bed. Important parts. These include the touch screen, which will be used for a portion of the setup, the arms, which will hold the robotic bronchoscope and sheath, and the plug for the umbilical cable. Monarch Tower. The Monarch Tower will hold the screen that is used for navigation to the target, as well as multiple other items. Positioning. At the foot of the bed, facing the Monarch cart. Important parts. Number one, touchscreen, used to locate the patient plan from the list. Will show camera images as well as controls for setup during the procedure. Number two, DVD drive, used to load patient CT scans for when the planning is done in the room and not on the laptop. Number three, USB drive and USB drive connector. This is used to load the fully planned robotic bronchoscopy procedure. Plans are performed on the planning laptop and then brought in and loaded using the USB into the USB port. Number four, umbilical cable. This will connect the robotic tower to the robotic cart. Number five, power cables. The power cable must be plugged into the wall at a different outlet than the C-arm. Number six, fluidics tubing. The fluidics tubing is housed on the robot tower and the saline bag is hung from the side of the robot tower. Number seven, suction tubing. The suction tubing will pass through here on the robotic tower and will be connected to wall suction. Number eight, monarch navigation field generator. 
This will be stored with the Monarch robot until ready for use. It will be housed with the navigation field generator mount when both are not in use. The navigation field generator will connect to the tower. During the procedure, it will be secured to the OR bed with the field generator mount on the ipsilateral side as the target. Number nine, navigation patient patches and navigation markers. These will be stored in the tower when not in use and will be connected onto the patient in the setup of the procedure. They will contact the tower by plugging into the yellow circle as shown here. Number 10, the Monarch controller. This will be used by the bronchoscopist in calibration before the procedure and to steer the robotic bronchoscope during the procedure. When not in use, it is stored in the Monarch tower drawer and is attached through this drawer. Robotic bronchoscope and sheath. The robotic bronchoscope consists of an outer sheath, shown in light blue, and an inner sheath, shown in dark blue. The Monarch sheath valve will be inserted onto the Monarch robotic bronchoscope before the sheath is attached to the scope, as shown here. During the setup, the Monarch bronchoscope will be loaded onto the arms of the Monarch robot cart and the other end inserted into the bronchoscope patient introducer. Planning laptop. The planning laptop has a DVD drive and a USB port. The DVD containing the patient's CT scan is loaded and the exported plan is loaded onto the USB drive. This will be inserted into the Monarch robot tower to upload the current plan for use. Best practice is to remove the USB drive immediately after upload to avoid damage to the USB port from contact from the bed.